so yesterday there was uh, this uh, question time for Prime Minister Suga uh, in the House of Parliament uh, in Japanese uh, diet and um, you know the, because the opposition uh, in Japan are so divided uh, I think five or six uh, heads of the opposition party um, appeared and uh, put some worrying questions to uh, the Prime Minister Suga and in one notable exchange uh, the leader of the Constitutional Democratic Party I think the translation is uh, Mr. Yukio Eda no? uh, he put some questions about the coming Tokyo Olympics and uh, Mr. Suga answered by uh, quoting uh, some memories from his past, uh, namely the previous uh, Tokyo Olympics in 1964, uh, 55, uh, 50, no, 57 years ago, and he you know, mentioned some really vivid and favorable memories from the Olympics, and which were good-natured and could have been a good public relations stunt if it were not for the general atmosphere in this country right now, and the media, um, you know, treating Mr. Suga as a kind of, a, you know, somebody who is out of touch with the public and which might be fair and which might not be fair, depending on your position. But uh, for me personally, I think uh, the memories of Tokyo Olympics in 1964 uh, were interesting to hear, uh, you know, how Mr. Suga, as a small child, enjoyed watching the games. And Mr. Suga seems to be of the opinion that uh, this Olympic Games would probably do the same thing for the Japanese children uh, at this time. And so there were some fair points, but uh, needless to say, uh, you know, given the current atmosphere in Japan, uh, these uh, statements were not taken at their face values and they were heavily criticized as, uh, you know, Testimonies of the fact that Mr. Suga is probably out of touch and he doesn't answer questions directly. You know, one of the techniques of you know avoiding uh, questions is the, you know to state your case, no matter what the opposition says, and it is conducted by you know uh, every politician maybe in every country. But in the case of Mr. Suga, because of his former job as cabinet secretary, he has this public image of evading questions. So probably that was why uh, Mr. Suga's statement about the previous Tokyo Olympics was not so, you know, received well. But having said that, I do think that it is fair for people from all generations to, you know, recount their experiences of public events because that's the only way we can relay information from generation to gener generation. To generation. But uh, unfortunately, in Japan, uh, you know, at this time, uh, it appears that there are not enough scope for relaying of opinions across generations. And that is probably one of the fair appraisal of uh, this country at this time. And if the Prime Minister's job is to, you know, um, make a good educated guess about the status quo of the nature, maybe in that uh, aspect, Mr. Suga failed in capturing the public's imagination as usual.